Hey guys, so we're just going to take a walk down at Chimon Caves. I've never been here in the winter, and I know there's a lot of water that drips from the caves, so I just want to see how much ice is there and take a little uh, explore. I know there's a few videos of this place online, but uh, I don't think I've seen any in the winter. So let's go see how much ice is down there and uh, take a little explore through all the caves. Trail's a little overgrown. <laughs> so we had a recent windstorm here, and I'm guessing that's what most of this is from. a lot of stuff down there. So other than that, it's a really easy trail. So I'm just getting to the caves here, and I'll show you guys in a second. So it's right alongside of a river, which is really nice. Wow, the ice covering these caves, though, looks pretty crazy. I wonder if they might be blocked. I'm just gonna put my headlamp on and we'll get up in there. Check out this ice, it's pretty cool. Hopefully I don't fall here though. It's pretty cool. Just gonna watch the falling ice too. Jeez, I should have brought my helmet. Alright, let's not fall. ice in here. Pretty cool in here. Just because of the amount of ice, I'm not going to go too far up in here, but I know you can climb up there a bit. This does go a little bit deeper. So it's not a huge cave, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. Alright, let's go to the next one. Make my way through here without sliding down on the ice. Oh, these stairs! Probably gonna skip the stairs today. That's so sketchy. This one's like okay. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, so that's the one that most people know about. But there's one over to the side that no one ever seems to know. So, I mean, obviously some people do, but it's kind of a secret one. So the water's pretty low right now in the river. So it's pretty easy access, but uh, any other time in the year. The river's too high and you can't actually get up to it. It's just over here. So a lot of the time the river comes way up here. Just all over here. So you can't actually get in here. So. Oh, there's a lot of ice there. Let's give her a go. Alright, let's see if we can get up here. Oh, so much ice. Oh, this is sketchy. <laughs> Alright, the ropes cover nice too. Oh, let's get some rock climbing skills going. Oh, no, shut up. Wait, shut up. Okay. Okay. 
First steps are doozy. So this one basically goes straight up. Hope you can see. I to put the headlamp on the GoPro kind of on the same area. So this might feel black for you guys, but I can see pretty well. Claustrophobia is not your friend here. Because I don't want to get wet and not go any farther, but you can go a little bit farther that way. But up here is kind of cool. That's all sparkly stuff. I think somebody put that there. Maybe not. Started to look at all the spiders. <laughs> huh. Alright. Spin around here. Squeeze our way back in. Not a very big guy, but like, this is pretty tight. I know these caves aren't massive, but it's pretty cool. So the tricky part, let's not fall down into the water. All right, gotta be careful. Slow and steady. I'm not a big fan of this rope either. Nice. That wasn't too bad. Oh. Not too sure it's this way. Looks like it ends. Alrighty. Alright, let's go check out one more it's up there. Steepest set of stairs. Somebody dropped the flashlight. It works. Kind of. So guys, I strongly suggest using something better than this. It's a rechargeable thing. Like, cover mine. I can barely even see this thing. Mine's a lot brighter. Alright, yeah, let's crawl in here. Too big for this one, but keeps going down there. We can go this way a bit further. Oh, so many bugs. Huh. 
I think that's about as far as that one goes. There's a tiny hole there, but I don't think I can get to it. I'm not gonna go crazy today, but I'll show you guys. All right, let's head back out. caves pretty cool they're small but it's kind of all i got for caves around here so i yeah. yeah, hope you enjoyed the little adventure see you guys so on the way to the caves you can stop by this little viewpoint here no water though i'll have to bring the wetsuit here and go for a swim one of these days i mean you're not supposed to fish here but i can see stuff in the tree and a bobber across the on the rock there but who knows, might be some cool stuff for some fish down in there to explore. Yeah, I'll check it out later. Another day. So just pick this up. There's one thing about these really small hikes that kind of bothers me is pretty much anyone can do this kind of hike. So experience isn't really a big thing. It's like a flat trail for the most part. So people come up, drink, party, do whatever, these kind of hikes. So it's something you don't really see with some of the bigger hikes. Like go to the top of like Sham or Elk or something like even those that are pretty popular ones, you don't see a lot of trash, at least beer cans and stuff up there. Because I find those people are at least somewhat adept at hiking. So a lot of these really small trails, I find a lot of trash. So if you go to some like the bigger mountains up in the backcountry here, um, you're probably not gonna find any trash at all. Other than my buddy, he finds some balloons, but it's not people going up there. It's balloons floating up there, but just something to think about. More experienced people, a little bit more respectful generally. Um, yeah. So I was just thinking, until you get to like stages like Everest, where that mountain's like one of the most polluted places, like anywhere. Like, but that's a whole new story of dangers and stuff like that. That's not people maliciously just littering. That's uh, there's a little bit more to that one. So no sooner did I just finish talking about that, than I found a bunch more. Like, people, like, who do you think cleans up out here? Like, I guess I do sometimes, but like, to bring it home, you packed it in, you packed a full can in. This thing weighs nothing. You can pack it out.